My name is Ina. I'm a professional photographer working both with corporate and private clients. I believe it's extremely important for every photographer to create something for themselves. Two years ago, I came up with an idea to create a project which will be inspiring for both people with disabilities and able-bodied people. This idea struck me when I was searching for an inner dress for myself and I was going through piles of glossy magazines and fashion accounts in Instagram. Girls in indie dresses always look beautiful, elegant and attractive, but for some reason we never see people in a wheelchair looking like this. And I thought it would be great to create a project with such people and make an images which you can easily find on fashion magazines. In addition to what we do for work, we all have our nearest and dearest, our close circle, which often inspire us and bring us new ideas. My mother started to use a wheelchair a few years back and her life has changed completely ever since. To live her life to the fullest, the number of certain simple things are essential to her, like a ramp, which is not that easy to be installed into an apartment in Moscow. One day, when we finally managed to do that, she started to go out to the park, do her shopping and meet up with me to tell me about her day. I believe it helped me a lot in this project, the understanding what I was doing it for from the very start. I was dreaming about solo exhibitions and having my work published, and I was doing my best to make sure that the project was top-notch, despite the topic being quite complicated. Now it seems that the time has flown past so quickly. I remember my emotions when I was leaving to my first photo shoot in Paris, how I was traveling to Ingushetia. By the way, the shoot in Ingushetia took the longest to organize, about five months.
So far we shot at 31 people in this project and we created a distinct story for each and every one of them. This story began when we first met and had a chat. I asked them what they do, what they like, what inspires them. And then my stylist and I, together we created the whole concept for the shoot. I was organizing it and looking for locations and I convinced owners of the restaurant, photo studios and other venues to help us and support us. All in all, about 60 people joined the project. Journalists, camera operators, stylists, makeup artists, editors and others who would invest their time, effort and a part of the soul into the story that we all have created. This is an international project all of us can be proud of. I was happy to join in, and this idea has inspired me immensely. The participant just amazed me uh, by how strong this spirit is, how much hope and belief in themselves they have, and how eager they are to stay active. Their spirit is so strong, and they have so much internal resolve that they are great role models for all of us. You can do what you really want to do. Like us, and they have to struggle with basic things that we take for granted. What we do every day without appreciating its value is something really hard for them, and sometimes simply impossible. With this in mind, I started appreciating what I've got so much more. The basic idea of discussing a social problem through the lens of fashion photography and glossy magazines really took hold of us and people who work in these magazines and in fashion industry were curious to try something new, to have a different perspective on this issue.
I would like to thank my loved ones for the passion and support. This project has absorbed me completely and I was living my life and looking at the world through its prism even while I was traveling. We were in Italy once and came across a restaurant where Bianis was playing some divine music. We were enjoying it for quite a while and I took portrait of him and asked for his contact info. I emailed him asking if I can use his music for one of our videos and he agreed. He only asked me to wait for him to travel to Turin to make a new recording of it so the sound quality was better. And this took project to a new level where when I started invited more and more musicians from other countries and this is how we got Australian and French musician who agreed to give us music for the project. Sometimes I did not realize the scale of my project myself. I first felt it when we decided to take portraits for every team member. 25 people turned out for a photo shoot in Moscow. And this was not all of us because some of people, they live in Paris, St. Petersburg or United States and they just couldn't join us for a photo shoot. This was that moment when I realized who is around me and how many people really would love to see the project get there. This was such an inspiration to carry on and see the project through. I once opened up an issue of Russian work and started reading. Yekaterina Melnikov, fashion director at Russian GQ for 10 years and now freelancer. Where are you going this year? To Iceland or to catch some sun on the Kuril Island? I'm not a fan of beach life. I love nature, wide open spaces, a lot of sky and a wind in my hair. This is what I need, I thought, and email Yekaterina. And, and I'm very happy that we shoot one series together. I just love interesting projects, and this is a definitely one. This project, what I can do and what I love to do, because, you know, uh, this is the only language I can speak to the world. And I really enjoyed being a part of a dialogue between the team and the world and about people we were shooting and their lives and their beauty. Ciao, my name is Petra and I come from Italy. I'm very happy to be part of this project with these uh, wonderful ladies. And I'm uh, sure that uh, this project will be blast. The most amazing thing about this project is that Ina managed to show the true beauty, the inner beauty of each participant while telling their own unique stories. And um, I think that's really a unique project. Well, there is this glossy beauty about it, it's not stereotypical. And Inna didn't try to make the participants confirm to, stop, to some like, stereotypical conception of beauty, um, but instead it's, it's a fairy tale, if you will, but it's still real at the same time. And I believe the project turned out insanely well and actually insanely beautiful.
discovery I made was that pity is not the emotion we should feel when we interact with those people, when we see those people, when we look at them. The entire project is about strength and courage and character and beauty. And I see this as the heart and soul of the project. And this is what was missing in the world. And this is what Ina managed to bring to it. Zaitsova was very thrilled when it came to the exhibition. She was very focused on it, putting everything else outside. She would shoot people, look for models, search makeup artists, search her camera operators, literally everyone who made this exhibition happen. <laughs> Living side by side with people with disabilities is an extremely urgent topic. I believe everyone should know about these people, should have an idea how we can be help of them, above all to know how they feel. The guest of exhibition will see things might have never seen or noticed before. We will feel uh, something they have never felt before. Uh, I think they love it as much as we love working on it. After working on the project, I'm not longer comfortable saying that I can't do something or that I feel too lazy to do it. Looking at these folks who have uh, to overcome so much literally every day and who still strive to achieve their goals. Come on, how can you not be ashamed to say I can't? <laughs> We turned our photo shoot into an adventure, we packed our bags and travelled, and I'm the most grateful to our stylist who would support me and travel with me.
There would be always someone from the team who would keep asking me when the next photo shoot was planned, who the face of our next story was. Step by step, we just keep moving towards our goal. The project has reached such a scale emotionally. It all started with just one story, and I couldn't imagine at the time where it would take us. I immediately knew it would be watercolor. I did my first three sketches, um, sent them to Inna, and it all just came together. We are working on a book. First, we just talked about it, discussed our vision, the format, the paper, you know, and we decided to make postcard illustrations. Uh, it wasn't solely technical stuff that we discussed. We sat down and just created it. I hope that everyone who see materials of our project will find something interesting there. Someone will remember our photos or like our video. Someone else will remember some phrases from the interviews with characters which will keep inspiring him the next day. I hope that project will be interesting. Now that we finish it and my project is being exhibited at my dream venue, I know for sure that such projects are totally doable. All you need is enthusiasm and to inspire people to join. If you have confidence in your idea, in your concept, you will be supported and you will make it. Please share these projects with everyone to help us raise awareness and share our story. Feel free to go to support section on our website willyheart.com.